Polyester resin and glass fibers are used to make reinforced plastic, commonly known as fiberglass. Fishing rods, stepladders, artificial limbs, and even boats are some of the many articles that can be made out of reinforced plastic. When working with resin, wear protective clothing and cover the work table. Also, be sure to work in a well-ventilated area. Now, pour some resin into a paper cup. Lay out a piece of cellophane, then add a few drops of chemical hardener. This is called a catalyst, and when mixed with polyester resin, produces chemical heat, which causes the resin to harden. Pour the mixture onto the cellophane. When hardened, you have a piece of brittle plastic. Cloth, talc, or string are some of the materials that can be used as reinforcements. Mix some more catalyst with resin and pour it onto cellophane, but this time lay in some string. When it is hardened, it is a piece of reinforced plastic. Although it is much stronger, it will still break. Fiberglass is the best reinforcing substance for plastics. It is drawn from glass and is very fine. These fibers are twisted together into fiberglass thread, which is woven into fiberglass cloth. There are chopped strands that are pressed to make fiberglass matting or roving. And finally, woven roving. To make fiberglass reinforced plastic, again mix catalyst with polyester resin. Pour it out. But this time, lay in fiberglass matting as a reinforcement. When it has hardened, the plastic will be extremely difficult to break. When done to correct proportions, a hard hat made from fiberglass reinforced plastic will not break. Many articles can be made out of reinforced plastic by a process called lamination. As a first project, make something simple, like this heat pad, which can be used at home under a hot dish. First, make a mold. Cut and sand a piece of fine-grained plywood about 8 by 8 inches. Add approximately 15 drops of catalyst to about 3 ounces of polyester resin. Pour some of the mixture onto the plywood and brush out evenly to a layer of approximately 1 16th of an inch. Work quickly, recover thin spots right away and cover all edges as well as the surface. Squeeze out the brush and clean it immediately in a solvent-like lacquer thinner or acetone, which has to be kept in a covered container. After two to three hours, the surface is hard enough to be sanded with wet-dry abrasive paper. The water acts as a lubricant. Start with the coarse grit, change to a medium grit abrasive, and finally to the fine 600 grit paper. Wipe the surface dry. Then buff on a loose type buffing wheel. Be sure to wear safety glasses. Use a fast cutting compound and buff to a high luster. Now apply a coat of wax polish and as a final step, very carefully brush on the water soluble release agent. It will enable the plastic to separate from the mold. Clean the brush in water. The mold is now completed. Any imperfection in the surface of the mold will show up in the final work. When a material for decoration is chosen, cut out a piece slightly larger than the mold. It has to be clean and all wrinkles should be removed by ironing.
cut out a piece of fiberglass matting for strength and fiberglass cloth for a smooth finish. As an underpad, use thin felt or cork, about 1 16th of an inch thick. Mix 12 to 15 drops of catalyst to one ounce of resin for the first layer. Pour, then brush it on, about 1 16th of an inch thick, and set aside to harden. Clean the brush immediately, or it will be ruined. When the plastic is hard enough, sand it lightly with 320 grit abrasive paper. Fiberglass matting and cloth, the mold, brush, catalyst, and resin should be laid out within easy reach because laminating must be done quickly. For the complete process of laminating, mix about 30 to 40 drops of catalyst with approximately 4 to 5 ounces of polyester resin. The complete operation must be done in about 2 minutes. This is all the time it takes for the resin to harden, and when it is set, no further work can be done with it. Brush some of the mixture onto the mold. Since the top surface of the finished project is the one next to the mold, place the colored material face down. Stretch it evenly, brushing on more resin from the center toward the edges. Onto this, put the fiberglass matting for reinforcement and brush in resin until it is completely saturated. Never forget to work quickly because the hardening process in the resin started the moment the catalyst was added. By stippling with the brush, all air bubbles are worked out to ensure a strong and solid laminate. If a smooth finish is desired, add fiberglass cloth. Stretch it by brushing from the center to the outer edge. Apply a last coat of resin and immediately clean the brush. In three to four hours, the laminate will be hard enough to be removed from the mold. The finished product is called the laminate. When the resin has thoroughly hardened, use a waxed and tapered piece of wood as a wedge and a round nose putty knife to pry the mold and laminate apart. The release agent is the thin clear film that peels easily off the surface of the work. Trim the edges with heavy scissors if flexible enough. or use a fine-toothed saw, such as a back saw. File down the edges, or use a hand plane. The blade will need frequent sharpening. Now, sand the edges, using first a coarse, then medium, and finally, a fine abrasive paper with water as a lubricant. To round the corners, use a band saw with a fine-toothed metal cutting blade. Be sure to wear a safety mask or goggles. Reinforced plastic can be cut into any shape desired.
The final luster is produced by buffing on the buffing wheel. For the underpad, cut the thin cork slightly larger than the laminate. Apply contact cement to both. When dry, place them together carefully and accurately. Once they touch, they cannot be separated. Now, put down a piece of cardboard to protect the working surface and trim the edges with a sharp knife. The project is now completed. When repairing an article made from reinforced plastic, the damaged area should be cleaned and rough sanded. Be sure to follow the safety rules when using power tools. In this case, prepare a piece of cardboard covered with cellophane to be taped under the hole. Cut some fiberglass matting to fit into as well as over the damaged area. Mix a few drops of catalyst with resin. Wear protective gloves whenever hands come into direct contact with the resin. Apply resin to the fiberglass matting and then to the damaged area. Then apply the matting quickly and carefully and let stand until dry.